here we are in a beautiful countryside in Poland at a sunny afternoon. And it's you in the car I mean by going home from shopping, but suddenly... You didn't see a stop sign and an idiot crashed into your car. But check what happened exactly. As you see there is no roll cage in the car. I see there is some caster problem at the rear wheels and also the chassis uh, is twisted. Take a look at the other car, what happened with that? Ok, repeat this situation, but at this time we have a roll cage in the car. To be honest it doesn't look like very well new sir, but I hope it is hold some damage from the impact. Check it in slow motion from the perspective of both cameras. I don't see any difference, maybe just a bug or don't know, but I don't see any difference. And another everyday situation without roll cage, you just going on the highway with 60 miles per hour, listening some Mozart. Yeah, there is a big guy in front of you and the impact is inevitable. It's very cool I think, but not in real life, it's just a game. I like Beamage's physics model. As you see the damage is significant and the wheel is shrink maybe 20 or 50 centimeters. Okay, the same situation with roll cage, but is there any difference? I like slow motions. Okay, we still can't go home with this car, but I think the cockpit is uh, yeah, the cockpit is more solid than it was. But don't know if he was in Bob's place. We survived this. Oh my god, I think he's started to repairing the engine instantly. Same situation, but higher speeds. People, raise your bets. Okay, I think we're alive, especially if we had an airbag, but it also looks a serious crash. And check it out from outer view. I think the green car has more damage in the cockpit, but uh, I think it's an older car, so this is the reason. There is no not that much rigidity in the chassis than the blue one. Okay, but what if I put a roll cage for both cars? Oh, I think it was very painful for Bob, he just checked the dashboard with her head. But he has some time to wave the other driver. <laughs> I don't see any significant difference in everyday situation with the roll cage. I don't know if it is useful or not, but uh, I think more not than yes. And then finally check how does it look like from upside. And here is our last test, sold all of our cars and take some loan from the bank. But we got a really beautiful red sports car with a big GT wing at the rear. It is so important at Nordschleife because we will fly out from here. As you see, first time there is no roll cage, but I think it's time to start some racing or, or some kind of stuff like that. So let's begin. Here we are in the straight. There are some idiots in front of us, but we overtake them from left and the right and here we are, we are the king of the map and boom, big shock! We have to sell our family's house as well but there is not that much damage as I expected so the cockpit itself is very rigid but in a really long straight in North Life a little bit later so I should try that as well with high speed so get some speed and momentum and get straight to the corner I think we can reach uh, 160 miles per hour but at this time I put in the roll cage and we will see what is the final results. I think in this situation you have a better chance to die in the impact itself, not the crash. The final thoughts are, I don't dare to say uh, the roll cage is better, especially in the lower speeds. But in street cars without helmet it can be more dangerous, especially if you don't have any helmet. I think the basic setup is better and safer for street cars, but if you go to the racetrack it can be useful 
for higher impact spinning, flipping and other situations. Also share your thoughts, what do you think about the roll cage? Is it important, useful for street cars or racing cars? Thank you for watching, bye!